I'll hit it now. Hello, everybody. We're just getting started. We are <laughs> doing Influencer Chat, building a brand of influence. Rebecca Radice, Ann Tran, Diana Adams. We have Marty McPadden. It is just an, a party, I think, going on here tonight in Miami. Oh, so there you go. Now we've actually started recording. Take two. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Now, did you ch chase away Glenn? Oh no, he's probably still, there's there's a whole room of people. Actually, Pam Moore is here doing her chat and they're oh, doing nice. it live on Periscope. So it was getting a little loud. We were all kind of competing within the same space. Yeah. 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 So None of us are loud at all. So it was, yeah. <laughs> None of us are actually like in the, uh, what is this? Like some service hallway in the hotel? Like. <laughs> Crash yeah. down to look up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't, I don't know where we are, but the sound is good, so we're going with it. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, I, unfortunately, we didn't capture any of that because the uh, retarded host here that set it up forgot to actually hit record, but it's that's okay. okay. We can do many more. It's okay. We're going to do lots of them, right? That's right. We will do them all week. Yes, and if anybody else wants to jump in, feel free before you know we we check out. Oh, Jody's gonna join us! Awesome. But yes, please click the little telebird uh, on your left hand side and tweet it out. Jody. Jody. How are you guys? And give those high fives. I, I love to see you. Hi, Anne. How are you? Hi. Hi, Marty. Nice to see you first time. Nice to see you, Jody. How are you guys? Yeah, it's great to see you. I know. Are you guys having fun in Miami? This party's just starting. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> <Here we> go. <laughs> so Marty, our um, panel is actually on Thursday at two thirty. So please follow Social Media Week Miami. We're we are yes. gonna put, Missy's putting in the calendar as we speak. Awesome. <laughs> it's at two thirty. Oh, awesome. and then on Wednesday. Oh, no. Here, wait, wait. Missy's gonna make a cameo. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Hello. Can you hear them? You want? Hi, <laughs> Miss. You gotta. Hello. You gotta talk to them. They only go to Bly because of you girls. Yeah, she does. Oh. Never comes on this thing. Love so it. Sweet. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, yes, that's it. That's all you're gonna get. <laughs> Rebecca, I feel like you and I need someone else in our square. You know, because it. <laughs> so I know. I, I feel like we're missing out here. <laughs> well, maybe we can find someone around the room. <laughs> oh, I think actually, I, I want to add one more thing. Tomorrow, Glenn and I will be on from 4.30 to 5.30. So we're going to be speaking about uh, adventure and hospitality. Ah, nice. I need a week. So I'm going to be on twice. Once tomorrow with Glenn and the following day she with the superstar. superstar. She's such a superstar. 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 That's what you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's hey marty let's switch it back on them let's interview them and ask Ooh, them what's that's been a good idea. What i love it your favorite part about building your community of influencer chat since you know you're relatively new and you came together as three women who never met what's been each of your favorite part now i'm interviewing you <laughs> okay this is fun i love this and do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Go first. Um, well, it's. I think everything I said before I hit record. Duh. Um, <laughs> um, it, it's that. Uh, so here's. I'll, I'll just short and sweet background story for people that don't know. Um, Anne and I had not met. We had known each other online for years, just like so many people do, uh, but hadn't had the chance to really meet. We talked one day over the phone and we both just had this common passion about helping people really tap into their own personal power and building their brand uh, and helping them build this brand of influence like we were talking about tonight. And we said, you know, we really believe that there's so much more to this. It's a movie where we need to get people excited about talking about this and, and just excited about their, their own companies, their own businesses, their own brand. Uh, and we decided to start the chat and to us to see it take off in the way that it has 
is you know yeah. you know you you've had a chat for what are you on four, four or five years four years uh-huh yeah, yeah 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 so you know this is your baby and just how incredibly exciting it is to see something embraced by mm -hmm. people other than yourself <laughs> or your mom mm -hmm. you know who's always cheering you on in the background so uh -huh. it's just it's it's been it's been a real treat, especially working with both Anne and and then Diana and just the camaraderie that we all have, um, mm -hmm. the shared passion and enthusiasm. I could probably go on and on. It's, you know, it's just, it's been an incredible journey and we are only just getting started. And Anne, what about like, I'm throwing, I'm like taking over and throwing this back at you guys, but, and what it, like, you've met probably so many more, you probably knew gazillions of people, right? And then now every Tuesday night, you're meeting a gazillion more. I mean, how does that feel or what else stands out in your mind about influencer chat? Well, I want to ask something about Diana then I'll, and remind me about your question if I don't answer. Okay. But I have always been an admirer of Diana, um, uh -huh. her, her blog. So that's why we reached out to Diana, so we're very happy that she's part of the team. Aww. And um, it's wonderful <laughs> because we all add different perspective and value, you know, and we complement each other. That's true. Mm -hmm. And I found out something really funny and interesting tonight. So an hour before the chat, she tells her son not to disturb her and that she's dancing when she squeaks. <laughs> and it's so hilarious, she pops herself up. And you know, we were trying to eat tonight. She's like, no, 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 I gotta stand up. I gotta get pump up with this chat. And so she's got a routine. <laughs> oh, that, that was cute. So, That's so cute. I have to stand up to do influencer chat. So, so I can, you know, get the blood going, get the blood from it, <laughs> get it all going with it. So you can't do that sitting down. I'm like, we gotta no. I think that's media training, isn't that? And I think Rebecca and I have talked about that. You have to put your high heels on so you can yeah. kind of get in that mode, right, Marty? Yeah, yeah it's important. Yeah, to talk Marty more. knows all about it. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you guys since we're on video, mm -hmm. and I know this is the first time you've brought video into this chat. Um, what do you think? You know, what do you think the future of, of video and especially? This platform, I uh, you know, I know Rebecca, you've been on here a couple times, but I, for but Diana and Anne, I think this is fairly new. You know, this compared with Periscope and the whole live streaming phenomenon that kind of started this spring. You know, how do you think it's going to affect? Because Twitter chat's been around a long time, and now you're bringing this whole another you know form of media into it. And and the theme of today's chat it was you know being authentic. And there's nothing, you know, like video to, to bring that out. How do you think that's going to, you know, uh, come into the, do you think Twitter chats are going to have to adapt and bring in video to really matter and really be relevant? Or how, what do you think about that? I would love if they could weave this piece of, uh, of lab in because, you know, before we would just tweet behind the scene, but we can't see the reaction. We can't see the emotions, the mm -hmm. authenticity as we spoke before. So this is my first time, and I think I'm going to be addicted to it already. So, you know, and, and I know, um, Rebecca, you're already on it, right? You're hooked, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I I think that's such a great question, Marty, because it's, it's interesting to see live streaming. It's been around for quite some time, um, but I think putting it in the palm of your hand, making it mobile and so accessible has taken it to a whole different level. And so from a Twitter chat perspective, it will be interesting to see how that how that evolves. I've seen the good and the bad. I watched one a couple of weeks ago where they were, it was a big brand. They were trying to multitask and do a blab at the same time as a chat. And oof, it, it, it was a struggle to even watch it. Um, and so I, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how people can, can really make that work. I think you probably want to have, you know, how we have our questions and answer ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I think if you have one person handling questions and answer and the other person handling the you chat, have a team. And, then, yeah. and then alternate and you weave in the story in that way, I, I think that would be a bonus. You know, it's funny. And you just took the word mm -hmm. right out of my mouth. Uh, I couldn't agree more with you. It really takes that team approach. I mean, you know, we talk a lot about multitasking. That's there's that's kind of a misnomer. You know, you really can't do that and really pay attention to everything going on, especially when you're combining different media together. 
but with you guys, you guys have such good chemistry. I could, you know, I mean, I could see it on the chat week after week. Mm -hmm. I can certainly see it here. And I think that's something that's a real opportunity for you guys to kind of bring all these media together. Uh, but yeah, the team environment is very, very important. You know, as long as you have, everyone kind of has a job to do and together, you know, you can do really great things that way, you know? So good. Well said. Yeah, just like you and Misty. <laughs> what you what you well, it was amazing, Diana, and it, only because you guys are on the the video here that that Misty actually made an appearance on video. She oh, always has to come so on nice. in, but she never wants um, to come on. Misty is one of my best friends in the whole world, so I think it's part of the best friend agreement that she had to do that anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you well, know. And Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Murray said, you know, same goes for Periscope and Meerkat. And absolutely. I, I mean, it's we're talking all the same stuff when we're talking about live streaming and how to integrate. And um, yeah, a team approach is really the only way I see it's mm -hmm. it's possible. And that's how the three of us work together um, is we divide and conquer and just exactly how we did it tonight. Um, so yeah, I think there's a ton of opportunity. And as you can see, we have a whole lot of fun being together. So I think video <laughs> is definitely the next, the next step for us. And you know, when you look at the Twitter stream and you look at tweets, tweets are really cool. I mean, I've sent over 156,000 of them. I love tweets, but when you compare it to something like this, they almost seem lame, don't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, kind of. Just because it's it's so well, now, fast, it's like. I was thinking now you kind of sorry, Rebecca. I didn't mean to cut you off, no, but now ahead. it's like when we tweet each other, like we can really see our facial expressions. Like I've seen mm -hmm. Anne, Diane. We haven't met by Diana. We haven't met yet, and Marty, we haven't met in person. But Rebecca, you know, we've been in the same room. So if I'm saying something, you can almost see it. You know how I would react or how each other. So it's kind of nice, and then this brings it more. So when I tweet next time, it'll be sort of real. It'll just feel real. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's a great point, Jody. I completely agree with you. Yeah. So you'll hear my little giggly, nervous laugh next time you tweet <laughs> in the back of your head. Oh, isn't that great? And we can all make those connections with each other. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It was funny That's because so um, when I when I saw uh, Glenn Gilmore tonight, I've known him since like the beginning of 2009 on Twitter. And when he saw me tonight, he introduced himself and he turned around and walked away. And I yeah. thought, is that the Glenn? <laughs> and I said, hey, wait a minute, we know each other. And as soon as we realized each other's Twitter usernames, then all of a sudden we're hugging and oh, it's so great. So isn't it neat that we know each other on that level? You know, yeah. it's amazing yep. what, uh, you know, what online relationships can bring into Sorry, your life. Diana, that's the first time you met Glenn in person? Yes, the first he's, time. Yeah. And wow, what he's just, a great guy. Um, I'm just, um, I don't even have words. Just great. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hop off, you guys, because there's probably a lot of people who want to come on. I think you're doing a great job. I'm so, so lucky that I've seen you guys tonight, and congratulations on everything, and I'll see you around, okay? Aww. I love you. Yeah. Love, you guys. Love, you guys. love you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, how do and I get I'm out? Make, I'm going to make room, <laughs> too, I will, so you can bring I will some, exit you out. There you go. All right. I'm going to make room so you can bring on some more folks. Great seeing you guys. Uh, and have a great time, Miami. Thank you, and, Marty. And, and break a leg with all your all your uh, talks and everything. We'll be following you from afar via Twitter. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Bye -bye. Alice, Alice, you were just trying to jump in. Come on in. I'm going to have to go grab the, uh, the plug. My poor laptop is about ready to die but fun isn't this great though i i just love the ability to get face to face with people as we were just talking about and be able to take those those semi-static relationships on twitter and expand them into what we're doing here super cool sure it's gonna bring you in the uh backup for you Oh, okay. Awesome. So we have a couple of open seats. If anybody wants to jump in, we're probably just going to keep this on for, you know, maybe a few more minutes. Really, the whole idea was just to jump on, say hello, and be together since we're, <laughs> well, we're kind of in the same room, Anne, <laughs> down the hall from each other. Exactly. Uh-huh. This is really yeah. fun. I'm going to need to get active in here. 
I told you how much you were going to enjoy it. The first time I got on Blab, I went, uh oh, I, I feel an addiction coming on. It's just, there's something about, I, I, like I said, the connectivity, the interaction, being able to get face to face with people, it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, Jody. I know Jody's addicted too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, ha, ha. Now I have Diana here with me. Ha, ha. I think I found our location for tomorrow. Isn't this great? Yeah, kind of nice. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. I have to actually find a plug. One sec. Come with me. Here we are. We're at the Marriott in Miami. It's very pretty. See it behind me there? I can't wait no? to show them tomorrow the view that we have from here. Yeah, it is. It's spectacular. Just a, a beautiful, beautiful view. So tonight, any other big takeaways from anybody on the influencer chat and building a brand of influence? Anything, Diana or Anne, that you want to leave everybody with before we, uh, we head off into the night? It's 930 here. It's oh. so crazy to me. I'm, you know, Pacific Coast girl. So coming to East Coast time, I'm like, what time is it? <laughs> Where am I? I just wanted to thank everybody again for coming. Um, we have so many wonderful friends on social media and I just hope you all know how much we appreciate you so much and you mean the world to us. So thank you. I just feel filled with gratitude tonight. Uh, well, we're filled with gratitude to be here with you. Thrilled to finally meet face to face. It's just amazing all the work we've done together and to never have met <laughs> in real life is crazy. Isn't that crazy? I know. Yeah. Just a testament. A oh, testament. Mad Madeline's going to hop on real quick. Yes, it oh, is. Hi. Hey, how are y'all? Oh, Madeline, hello. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. I, I was on blabs earlier tonight, and I was kind of blabbed out, honestly. So I unplugged the mic and the, the camera, everything. I was actually in my recliner, and the blab brought me back in. I'm like, I wonder who's on right now. So it's great seeing you all here. You know, I've been following all of you for a long time on Twitter. This is oh, just Madeline, we're so happy to have you here yeah. Thanks for i'm bummed i'm not there it sounds like a great event yeah, yeah. It, and also uh i wanted to congratulate you on the success of your chat You're oh my gosh i am loving it i'm loving it the podcast and now the chat is so great i want to have all you guys on all of it so when you when you guys get a chance we'd love to have you on the podcast have you on the chat oh thank you awesome. thank you very much yeah i'm having a lot of fun with it yeah, well, uh, that's awesome. Noticed how popular it's been. So, and that's, yeah, you just you're doing a great job with that. I yeah, it was really unexpected. I just, you know, I've been running chats for years, but but this one is is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, 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 Madeline, based off of just our whole topic here tonight, starting your chat, being on Blab, you said you'd spent a lot of time on Blab just today. Yes. How do you think live streaming or chats can help you build influence? Oh, I mean, you know, this just takes it to a whole new level. I mean, it's great that we've all been doing the Twitter chats for a long time. We build our followings and then you bring it over here and you get to like, like, uh, just like uh, right before I jumped on and you know, you guys were talking about being able to see each other. It's just unlike anything else is the next best thing, you know? And, and what a lot of people have said and what I also believe is what hangouts should have been. You know, th this is to me what, you know, what it, what it should have been. Well, it's what we tried to, or at least hoped they would be. It was just yeah. so much more convoluted, at least to me, unfortunately. And yeah, I, I totally agree. It does definitely take that relationship to a whole different level. It's almost like taking the online to offline where it feels as if you've got that, that face-to-face -face interaction. 
Exactly. So I'm a big fan of it. Now, when I do my chats, I'm usually doing it solo, which I need to stop doing because I've tr when Meerkat first came out, oh my gosh, I was like, oh, I'm going to Meerkat and do my Twitter chat. And it was very, very difficult. And so, um, and then I watched Ryan Fanzo do it like it's no big deal. And so it's like, okay, well, if I had like five computers running, I could probably swing it. So uh, yeah, I think I need to build a little team so that um, I can be on the Periscope and Meerkat and Blab while running a chat. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I highly recommend just from seeing what's possible when you partner with some unbelievable ladies. Uh, you guys are the best team. I highly recommend uh, having some partners and, and people that you can enjoy that journey with. Yeah. I was really excited yeah. when you guys first launched the Twitter chat. I thought, wow, what a great team. So thank you. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I just well, want I just want to jump in yeah. and say hi for a minute and uh, love what you ladies are doing. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Jed, Darren, either one of you want to jump jump in and add I to the saw Jed too. We'd love to hear your Jed. thoughts on oh, Jed. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. I just, uh, I just had the chance to meet Jed. Jed, Jed and I met That's in real right. life in Boston. And oh, Darren's Jed. popping in too. Hey, oh, hey Darren. I'm well, Good. I saw you in Boston. You? I'm not sure we said hi though. I don't think so. I, I, I last think I saw you and actually got to speak with you was uh, in That's San right. Diego my my two trips to America, before, I bumped but... into you both times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> lucky me. I know. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you I'm back jet lagged out of my scone, but I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. I was complaining about my jet lag just going from the West Coast to the East it's Coast. Yours is, yeah. Just yeah, 30 a little hours. bit Nothing different. Much. Top of the jet lag, you you've been oh. running around that enormous facility for four days and uh boy that wears you out real quick yeah yeah well you were live streaming uh, most yeah of it, yeah for so. a lot of it yeah I yeah know. so I, I would love to love to hear your thoughts i'm gonna have to kind of move around here just a little bit um would love to hear your thoughts on this topic as far as building a brand of influence and uh, just what it takes to in today's world. I think things are shifting so dramatically in how we're using Twitter chats and how we're using live streaming and, and what it all means to somebody, especially somebody that's just jumping into social media these days. Absolutely. Darren, do you want, do you want to share a thought or? Yeah, I, I haven't got the, the, the first part of your, um, your blab, but I caught that last bit. And I think, you know, blab for me has taken the Twitter chat to the next level um, and it really has added, you know, to be able to see people nodding their heads when you're talking <laughs> really is comforting. Um, and I think for me also it's given me a real insight into who's reading my blog. Uh, often when you read your blogging or even podcasting, you see the stats and you see the comments and you see the avatars, but you don't actually see them and you don't hear them. Um, I was just on a blab before and we had, you know, 500 people, over a half hour period and I talked I, I was amazed how many Aussies were in the room I didn't realize how many Aussies were reading my blog and and you know that kind of meant a lot to me and and to hear the accent and to see the body language and um yeah it really was great and the other thing I've got recently is a lot of people saying I caught your blab and I didn't realize you were normal <laughs> I mean, it was kind of like well, what did you think I was? <laughs> That's but hilarious. It, it really personalizes the brand in a way that you can't do on Twitter or you can't do through writing. Um, yeah, so, you know, I've had my – I don't show my kids on a blade, but the, you see the top of their heads walking behind me and, and even people saying, oh, you know, he's a dad like me. Um, uh, that, that kind of really – it's it's beautiful. It's great. Yeah, that is. I, Ladies just, and gentlemen. Well, we've just learned that uh, Pro Blogger is a normal human being, despite what we've imagined on his blog. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not wearing my pajamas today, so. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jed? Um, and yeah, oh, is Rebecca frozen? Uh-oh. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. 
I think so. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely have some uh, thoughts here as Rebecca uh, pops out to refresh. And there are two very distinct differences when I talk to people about building a, a brand of influence. This is a topic that I discuss a lot. Um, if for those of you that don't know me, uh, I have a digital marketing agency called Likeforce, where we hire college students to and teach them to manage social media for businesses. And in so doing, I speak at a lot of universities uh, around the country, and we oftentimes talk about building influence online. Now, for building a brand of influence, you can mean either a brand like a commercial brand where you're talking about a, uh, an entity that offers products and or serv services, or you can be talking about building a personal brand. And uh, a lot of times we talk about building our personal brand on social media. And I think there's two distinct differences in how you go about doing that. Um, and I, you know, I, I could talk for a long time about this, so I'll try and summarize. But when you build a brand of influence, for a company that is selling products and services, you're building trust among uh, your following and for lack of a better term, your existing customers and your potential customers. So you're growing trust through social media and content marketing and whatever other means uh, of marketing that you use, even in-person events like um, conferences and such. And so you approach that in a somewhat different way than you would uh, building a personal brand of influence where you're wanting to put your expertise on display. So when you're building a brand of influence for a company, you're really about building likability, trust, um, and uh, awareness for your potential uh, customers of the future. Those are things you want to build in a personal brand uh, program as well, but much more so in building a personal brand, you'll focus on uh, displaying expertise in, in your industry. And the number one way that you can do that is by choosing a, a focus, right? And this is, I think, where most people go wrong when they start uh, having trouble on social. Um, they want... They, they have a lot of skills. They want to show off all those skills. And they list about a dozen skills in their profiles on LinkedIn. They tweet about every subject under the sun. When the football game comes on, they tweet all the scores of their favorite football team. And, and that's where your, your personal brand begins to fray because people, you're not building an area of expertise for your audience. And um, so my quick two cents for anybody who wants to know it focus find your focus find your core area where you can add value where you can make, you can make a difference for people and focus on that and uh, i try to lead by example if you go to my twitter profile you'll see i have four hashtags and they highlight those four areas and it also kind of gives people a, an expectation of what to find in my tweets. And I try to keep my tweets to those four topics of leadership, marketing, and, and social media. Excuse me. I'm, <laughs> You're choking out. I'm talking, talking out, uh, talking out my voice here. I'm losing everything. Well, I, but, I um, you were kind of sounding like a robot for a second there. You were breaking up. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. I, I, I just over and over again, I, so I'm repeating myself. I think your your point is so incredibly important um, in that it, you've got you've got to know what your your purpose is. You know what what are you here to talk about? And Darren, you know, I I loved your point as a fellow blogger. Um, just understanding who your audience is and understanding what are they looking for? What are the, what kind of content are they, they coming to you for? And of course, I think you've got that pretty nailed down. Uh, of course, I'm joking at this point. Um, that, <laughs> you, you, you know, it is though nice to know that they're excited to connect with you in a, in a different level. They're they're excited to to know that you're a real human being behind everything that goes on at, at ProBlogger. 
um, and that you have kids and that maybe they see their heads running around behind you. So I think there's a different, different level of authenticity that comes with being online, being this, this whole idea of live streaming and Blab and, and being connected in this way that, that Blab, I think, just really has allowed us to do unlike anything else. And what I love about Darren is uh, nobody's guessing as to what he's an expert in, right? Yeah, exactly. And that was my point, um, is that nobody nobody needs to guess what he's about. And yet, there there's still a deep desire to know you as a human being, to know you as the person behind everything that they've read for so many years. Uh, and, and that's, I think, the beauty and what we're able to do right here is is just for people to be able to get to know you on a completely different level. Absolutely. That's why we love Blab. Jed, what you said reminds me of something I heard Peg Fitzpatrick say a couple years ago. She, somebody was interviewing her and they said, what are your uh, best tips for Twitter? And she said, you know, it's very simple. You choose three or four topics and those are the things you tweet about. That's it. It's very simple. And what you said tonight, just uh, it reminded me of that because it, it really resonated that it doesn't have to be hard. You know, it's not. It doesn't have to be. You just have to kind of uh, do what we've always talked about in, in our chat and just kind of laser focus about what your message is. And I struggle with it because although I do have specific areas, I run a business, so I, I talk about about that, about entrepreneurship. I'm focused on social media and marketing. Um, and, and I try to also share um, things that I've learned about leadership over time. But eventually, I'm going to have to even narrow those even further. So uh, eventually, I'll, I'll have to be a, a pro blogger. Maybe I'll call it a pro entrepreneur or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, eventually I need to to get down to to where Darren has really nailed it. And I think the more you whittle it down, uh, the more you shine and, and the more um, influence you wield. So kudos to you, Darren. Yes. Thank you. I'm just stumbling along. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how everybody feels? So you yeah, know, you're just I, kind of out there. and for me, Sorry, like I, I was talking in, in my blog just before about how when I started, I my blog was about everything. Um, it was a personal blog, and I think it's really useful to start wide and to narrow your focus in. Um, and that for me meant I started. I, I wrote one post. I remember the post I wrote it was the first time I wrote about blogging on my blog. And then it got such a positive response and it felt so good for me. So I was paying attention to what I enjoyed, but also what came back to me that I decided I'm going to make this a category. And then it became a category of my blog. And then some of my readers started to push back and say, we don't, we didn't come here for that. So then I split it out onto ProBlogger. And so I think it's, it's great to have a space where you can just play and just try new things and write new things, even if it's a one-off um, talk, and then and you gen generally find what gives you energy and what gives other people energy. And if you can find the, um, the intersection of those two things, then that's gold. That's that's meaningful. I read a book the other day by Tom Tom Roth called Fully Charged, and he talks about finding the intersection of what what interests you and what the world needs. If you can find that intersection point, that's gold. That's where you should invest your time and energy and that's where you should build something. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's what happened to me, even though I'd never really knew what was happening at the time. It just sort of intu intuitively happened. Wow, that is so inspiring. What a great story. There is so much to learn just from, just from that one minute of what you said. Oh, cool. I should write a book about it. Let me just yeah, write it yeah, down. Yeah, yes, you should. Could you get on that right away? <laughs> okay, I need to get off the plane and write a book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Until then, I posted the link to the book in the site. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a great read. I mean, it's about health, really, but it's um, he just, he's got this section on doing something meaningful and, and describes what that was, and it was just the light went on. I was like, that is, that's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, well, well it it reminds me a lot about too um, a similar intersection of merging passion with purpose 
and really understanding what you're passionate about, but also what you feel your purpose is in life and where where do you find your happiness? And is your happiness something that you can share with other people? And my answer would always be yes, um, because if, if you love what you do, you, you've got to be certain that there's other people that are going to connect with that as well. So what a great story. I love that. Go. Cool. Oh, I'm going to say goodbye. It's been yeah, great chatting with thanks you. Thanks for joining I'll, I'm us. Going to, I'll keep listening in. But uh, well, this ended up going much longer than we ever anticipated. They always so do. They thanks always do. Yeah. 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 Good to see you again, Darren. I'm Love sure it. I'll see you along the blabs. See you later. And thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, Jed. So great, great to see you. Absolutely. And see you again soon too. I hope. Yes. Hi, Diana. I have to give you some little whatever doohickeys. There you go. Yeah. High fives. Thank you. All right. See you guys. Bye. See you later, Ben. Bye bye. Oh, hey guys. Are you there? Oh, yes, I'm here. I can see you. You're like in, in the dark. That's you? Yes. Yes, it's me. Hi. Oh, I have to give you some little high fives. Hey. <laughs> I'm in a coffee shop right now, so it's kind of dark oh, at the moment. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Well, it is exciting to at least kind of meet you face to face, even though we can't really see you because you have just been such a enormous supporter of ours and you just bring so much amazing insight every single week to influencer chat. So thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. I always yeah, enjoy Tell us, tell us a little bit about, uh, about you and your business and uh, how you're building influence. And I could answer some of that just from learning so much about you, but I'd love to hear it from you. Well, I actually, uh, actually, I run a website, uh, my media company called uh, Bellano Media. I and I, and I recently now narrowed down to self-help to where using sports as a metaphor. And, and I also host a podcast called What's the Word? And, and I'm now using this platform, Blab, to to host a podcast, and I've written two books too. So, I'm so I'm just trying to like make it make them profitable. That's awesome! Yeah. Wow, that's doing awesome. a lot. Yeah, I'm trying trying to hustling. Yeah, <laughs> there's that word again. It sure comes up a lot. I love that yeah. word. I love the hustle. Yeah. I love that word. Yep. <laughs> that's because you're hustling every day. <laughs> yeah. Hey Kathleen, how are you? I'm great. Hi, I just wanted to hop on. How you doing? I know what all these faces, all these avatars, and I just wanted to say hi. You hi. guys are doing a great job. I've been following you your chat since March 17th. I had oh, hopped wow. on that. Yeah, I had hopped on. I was at actually a, a St. Patrick's Day dinner. And Anne was talking about your chat, and I hopped on, and I haven't been able to hop off since. Lots of great information, learning a lot. It's like going to school once a week. I appreciate it. And I've learned and applied. So I just wanted to say hi, face-to-face. -face. That's the great best part, isn't it? Well, okay, yeah. so be before we let you go, you said learned and applied. Can you think of one thing that really stands out for you that you've applied? That we you know, talked about. I pay, I've been paying a lot of attention to FTC rules. Um, you mm -hmm. guys were talking about things like that. And not that I hadn't, but I'm now paying a lot more attention, placing the um, hashtag ad when I'm doing things. Um, I think it's really important that people understand that there are those rules and they are enforcing them. And um, I think that your chat actually brought a lot of attention to people to, to be able to do that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That, that's such an important topic. You know, it was something we were just talking about again. I was in Boston for Inbound and it's, whew, it's, it, it's a big topic. It's a hot topic because things continue to change. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something we wanted to raise awareness around because it's scary too. If you're, if you're not paying attention, there's a lot of repercussions. And there's yes, absolutely. I think there's a whole other side to that than just following the rules because uh, they're enforcing them. But there's also the issue of transparency, you know, and you want to always yes. be transparent with your audience. And you when you're building that trust, you know, like the same as with trust offline, you know, it just takes one misstep and then people start questioning everything you do. And so I just think it's important just from a transparency standpoint as well. 
Yes, and the and the uh, the lines are so they're not blurred for people to understand that you know whether you're paid or you're just an inf you know you're an influencer because you like the content and I, I think we're at that point in social media that people really need to know that difference. So as far as your top is concerned, I think it's helping people define themselves. Are they an influencer? Are they a brand ambassador? Should I, you know, should I ask for pay? Should I ask for product? And um, I, I know that I deal with a lot of hiring um, blogger events, and there are a lot of people that don't know their value. So I also feel like the influencer chat has helped people define their value. And that's something that Ann and I have spoken about a lot too, about defining your value. You know, um, we, I support a number of chats as just as an influencer, not even as paid, because I feel like we need to support one another, like your like your chat. Um, and I think you know it, it pays off down the line um, in other ways. And I I just think that people don't understand their value, and that's what I'm encountering when I'm hiring people for companies that they don't know their value. Yep. And that's part of what I like to do is help them know that. That is such a big deal. And uh, Rebecca here right here uh comes up with so many amazing quotes that i love to tweet but one of my favorite ones and rebecca i know i'm gonna mess this up but one of my favorite quotes of yours was the greatest gift you can give someone you're showing them their value mm -hmm. yeah now i'm gonna cry <laughs> it's true yes, it's funny. really true it's crazy though when when i'm dealing with uh, a bunch of bloggers the people that don't know their value they're the ones who actually give the most Hmm. They yeah. seriously, they yeah. the, they demand a little and they give a lot. Hmm. Oh wow! So yeah. almost, and I feel like an evangelist for value because I bring them aside and say, "Hey, this is what you could be doing. This is what you should be getting." And I and I and I try to be fair across the line and and you know make people aware. So your influencer chat is really contributing to that. I point a lot of people to the chat. So they can go and learn, you know, you have, you have to let people know. So anyway, I want to say hi, guys. Great job. And uh, so cute, Diana, that you're crying. But I agree with you. I get, I, I get brought to tears myself. I get off, sometimes I get off the phone and I say, oh, my God, this person is so nice and so good and so giving, you know. And, oh, they don't know. They don't know the value inside of them. Yes. Exactly. Anyway. Thank you. Let's someone else hop in the seat. Thank Great you. Great to Tessie. meet you guys. It was wonderful to meet you. Yeah, and I, I love how real you are, Diana. That you're just... embarrassing. <laughs> no, I don't think it is Diana? at all. There's nothing wrong with crying. This, this is what Blab is about, girls. Right, guys. We're authentic. Yep. We're real. Uh, there was somebody who was saying that about. Uh, reality TV is so staged, but this is this is the reality, the true reality here on Blab. I I know I sound like an evangelist for Blab, but it's really the truth, you know. And we get on. Some people get on without makeup. Some people get on with you know with makeup, pajamas. However you want to get on and do your thing, that's your thing, right? That's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, exactly. guys. I'll Kathleen. talk to you. All bye. right. Bye, Kathleen. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, so yeah. Kathy, Kathy, if you, oh, good. She's going to jump on. So Kathy is jumping Yay. on. She is also speaking here at Social Media Week in Miami. And, and she just said that's exactly what she's talking about. Hey, Kathy. Yeah. Hi, Kathleen. Hi. How are you doing? Hey, How are you guys doing? Hi. Good. Doing great. I was supposed to be in Miami right now with y'all, covering, doing the periscoping and doing like stuff up for influencer chat and get real chat. But I had, I had to take care of my kids. So oh, I'll well, be there on Thursday. Yeah. Priority. <laughs> I, have to, I have to zip out to get my power cord because I'm like on like uh, just a little bit. <laughs> I'll be right. 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 right so yeah. Kathy, um, you're you're talking about value and finding your own value, or tell us a little bit about your topic. I'm on the live streaming panel. Um, I'm on the oh, live okay. streaming panel. I'm actually the director of Periscope Community Summit in New York Scope Week. Um, and I've kind of been on Periscope uh, from day one, Meerkat on date from day two. Uh, and we're talking, the panel, I actually put together the panel uh, for Social Media Week Miami. Uh, Terry asked me to help her out and I, I kind of did it. Um, we are talking about um, live streaming being the missing link between social media and television. Mm -hmm. 
So it's exactly what, what Kathleen was alluding to, that this is, reality TV is fake. I mean, I used to produce a, a show for Animal Planet, a reality show for yeah. Animal Planet, and it's all staged. You know, like, can you pull up the car like four times? You know, yeah. can you repeat that? It's all staged. But yeah. the reality is that it's, this is raw, authentic, it's real, anything can happen. And the fact that Diana was crying, it's just, it, you get to be real, you get to, you get to be human. Yeah. And I like that, you know, so. You and me it's, both. Yeah. I, I yeah. love it. I just love, I, there's, we were talking about it before, um, just because Anne and Diana had not had the chance to experience Blab yet. And I was just giving them my feelings on the difference between Periscope and, you know, maybe a meerkat and Blab. And I think that's a, a big part of it is you do have more of this where you're interactive, you're talking, you're, you're real. You're having conversations that, hey, maybe you and I would have over the phone, but now everybody else gets to kind of listen in and mm -hmm. be a part of. It's really cool. It is. And yeah. that, it's that next level sorry, because social, sorry, Shavala, social media tends no, ahead, to be static ahead. in some way, but live streaming is, is collaborative. It's active. It's just what we're doing here. You know, it's a next level. I, Kim Garst, I, I communicate a lot with Kim, and Kim calls it the beginning of 3.0. This is really the beginning of 3.0 in the sense that we're getting to that next stage of, of social not being static, being collaborative and being authentic and raw and, and real, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm sorry, Siobhan. Go ahead. No. Well, I basically have a question, like, for you all because, like, I know, I know you all are doing great, you know, as entrepreneurs. Like, for those who are just starting out, you know, as you know, with building their social media profiles, uh, what would you, what advice would you give to them? Kathy, do you Rebecca, want to do you take that, or? Uh, yeah, and you know, I think that's such a great question because it's something we talk a lot about with influencer chat, which is, yeah, there's, there's, and, and I think there's a whole lot of inauthenticity that comes on social media, right, where people are pretending to be this bigger than life or doing better than maybe they they truly are and so we we tend to as entrepreneurs as business owners get into our own heads of oh wow how 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 do i succeed if you know cheval's doing that, uh, there's no way i can you know actually live up to uh, or compete with what he's doing and i think i think we have to realize that we're really you should only be competing against yourself every single day and i know that can sound a little cheesy at times but it's really the truth you got to get out of bed every single day and say i love what i'm doing i'm excited to be doing what i'm doing and i'm going to give 110 percent and it may not be cheval's 110 percent it may not be diana's it may not be kathy's but gosh darn it <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. And I'm going to feel really, really good at the end of the day because, again, I'm doing what I love and I, I, I'm building something that I'm proud of. And I think where I see people really hurt themselves every single day is that comparison of, well, I should be more. I should be doing more. I should be saying more. I should, I should, I should, I should. And we're shooting all over ourselves, right? Um, and it's, it's just a shame. Uh, and, and, and I, you know, I, I would just challenge people to take a step back and reassess, you know, why did you start your business in the first place? Why did you decide to go out on a limb and do something that maybe everybody said you shouldn't be doing or that you couldn't do? It's because you were excited. You were enthusiastic. It's because you have a skill or a talent that you know nobody else has. And I think we have to you know, I, there's so much more of all, in my opinion, because I think, I think we have to start getting back to some basics in a sense of just really appreciating who we are and back to what we were talking about originally, Kathy, the value we bring mm -hmm. and the value we bring to our own business. And yeah. I want to add to that, right. Rebecca, I think, um, I think it's really interesting that you bring that up because I feel like a lot of times, especially in live streaming, because that's really where, I, where I've really found my niche. That's really where I found my forte as a former journalist. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that, especially let's say on Periscope or other apps, who tend, you know, you can only go on so long being fake, um, you know, on, in live streaming until you get found out. 
or you get or someone figure figures out that you know this person isn't really who they say they are so authenticity is key in going back to your value um kim actually kim told me kim garsh told me something the other day when we were talking she said don't give away your influence don't give it away for free don't give away your influence yeah. because a lot of us sometimes think oh no no i need to do all these free things and all these free you know no if you have some level of influence don't underestimate yourself you know don't under don't you know we, we we tend to sometimes do that to ourselves yeah we're very competitive but then sometimes like no no maybe i should do all these freebies and they get to a point where like no don't you know don't give away your influence for free so i love that quote and it goes back to value goes back to really building that brand of influence so um i just wanted to share that as well <laughs> that's great that is thank you Kathy. Mm -hmm. yeah and just so, and I'm going to be transparent with you guys, you know, I, you know, I'm still trying to build my business of profitability the way you are at the moment. And, you know, so working, working at a coffee shop at the moment, just, just, you know, just to ease the stress of being an entrepreneur. So, so just let you guys know, I am not there yet to where you are at yet. Oh, but you know what, Cheval, and I, we're getting some feedback, if you could mute this real quick. Um, better? No, we're still getting some feedback. Are you muted, Cheval? Is it maybe somebody, Diana? Diana? No, I am. No, I'm good. There's no noise here. You're good. Am I okay? Am I okay? I don't. I don't. Yeah, well, Am I the Am only, the only one, one that's hearing the feedback? feedback? Sometimes just Sometimes jumping in and out helps, helps, helps with helps the audio. audio. It gets. I'll give. I'll give. I'll give that a try. try. Yeah, it gets wonky yeah, sometimes. sometimes. Am I getting feedback? Am I getting too? feedback too? No, I don't hear anything. It sounds great to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody it's, else want to jump in? We have yeah, a we have a chat. Do you guys? Okay, they okay, hear on me. Hear on me. I'll, 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 I'll like, I'll leave you guys. I'll see you guys in my hands. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, Kathy. I'll be there on Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Okay, great. I'll mm -hmm. see you on there Thursday, too, speaking. So we'll see you then. Hey, me, too. I'll see you. I'll, I'll be speaking on the panel. What time? What time is your panel? Three o'clock. Oh. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, No? No? I'm still getting I'm it. I'm still getting it. All right. I guess I'm the only one left. So um, it's Cheval and me. Cheval, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? All right. Well, um, I think you're muted, Cheval. Oh, good. Rebecca's coming back. Hopefully, are we done? Hopefully, with are we done with the? No, I can no. still. I can hear you, yeah. Diana. All right, I'm going to mute myself. Let's give that a try and see. Well, okay. Let's jump. Uh, yeah, it's gone for me now. Um, let Tim jump in. Hey, Tim. Hey guys. Look, How I just wanted you? to say a quick hello. Um, for me. Twitter has always been, you guys have just been amazing posts and I've just been, you know, following your streams forever. So it was just a delight. I think Gleb's just going to be this thing where you get eye contact, you get to hear a voice, you get to see a smile. And just to share that is is tremendous. So for me, yeah. sitting in my office, to see you lovely ladies sort of sharing your 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 stuff is just a delight. So thank you for that. Oh, Tim, thank you. thank you. And oh, you need to grab a headset. Where'd your headset go? Go grab it. <laughs> there you go. Plug it back in. So, Rebecca, yeah, it's just been great to, to. I guess I'm just thanking you for your shared wisdom over over um, many years of following you guys on Twitter. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just a smile and 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 say thank you so anyway i'll jump out diana pleasure thank to see you. you thank, thank you. you thank you thank, thank you. you wait hold on i got to give you some 
some little high fives. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Bye. Great to see you. Bye-bye. Yeah, no, and, and thank you to everybody. Uh, see now, Diana, you've gotten your first taste of Blab. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling good. and, uh, and uh, I learned that your mods are, oh. mods are a must. Now your your sound is really bad again. Gosh, we are we're just audio <laughs> challenged here. Plus, my, I'm about to run out of battery, so go. I may just lose you altogether. <laughs> Well, that's okay. We can we can definitely we can wrap up Robot Diana. Yeah, yikes! But no, this has been so much fun. I absolutely love it. I wish we got to tweet together every single Tuesday night, and then Blab and <laughs> Periscope and everything else we've done tonight. But um, to everybody that is uh, watching live or watching our replay, we will be in uh, Miami together through Saturday. So we will definitely be taking many other opportunities to do some live streaming every single day, sharing with you uh, all of the amazing speakers that are here uh, every single day through Saturday at Social Media Week in Miami. And if you have a Social Media Week, you know, this is global, um, a global event. So if you have one in your local area, I just highly encourage you to track it down, get there because there's amazing people uh, uh, talking about just a, a whole gamut. Um, I, I look at all of the different speakers that are here with us, Diana, and it's just so many different topics topics that you don't see at maybe a, a typical social media conference or event. So if you do have one in your local area, and like I said, uh, they're international, so they, they could be in your backyard, I, I definitely check it out. But thanks to everybody that joined us tonight on Twitter chat. Our Twitter chat is every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So please do join us there uh, on Twitter and then join us here all week. Join us on Twitter here on Blab because we'll definitely be doing more. Um, and Diana, we're gonna coax her into doing some more Periscopes as well. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with live streaming. <laughs> I can tell by your face, you're like, yes. <laughs> Awesome, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. Um, and we will see you soon, probably tomorrow sometime. Take care. Bye.